Exercise control, exercise control. Team one, over. Um, preparing to head to the road um, and then come back to check the outside. And uh, no further, further to report. Exercise control, technology. Over. Yes. Team two, over. You want to tell them we've marked it off with pink tape? Exercise control, exercise control. Team one, over. Remind me, we'll have to pull this out when we exercise come control, over. Have located approximately 15 metres up the track, 3 metres to the south of the track. One triangular bandage, unused, new, in its condition. We might as well um, hold here. If you could just stay there, um, Harry and Gren. Mm. <laughs> but if we just hold that, me and Mark will advance and do a quick recon and then we'll reform and do a um, you know, radio search of the um, center of the camp. <laughs> We don't have a guinea pig, so he's a substitute for the guinea pig. <laughs> I shall remember. You better if I go out to the enemy. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to change the consensus. Um, we're going to advance in the line with that we're at to the centre of the uh, campground, which is that tree there. Uh, it's very old and faded. It's been there for quite some time. Um, Mark, can you just record me some old plastic pieces here? Thank you. 
been asked to return to the start point as control has new information from the police. So we'll just stroll on down there um, single file. We want to mark where we've got to. Ah. Yeah, I think so, in case they send us back. All right, what we'll do is... You like your pinky? A bit of pink paper each end. Yeah, we only have to oh, come I back up. Have just put... Back. Just... I didn't actually see that. I didn't no. have to walk up like that. Well, that was how it was. Oh, that's right. I've thrown my ankle and heading to Main Road downhill. Fred. Fred. Ah. Well, we've <laughs> changed the bloody name. <laughs> Set the exercise. So what did Fred have to say? I've sprained my ankle and heading down the road. He's having an identity crisis. Well, right. Searchline, at least 10 to 15 metres thing on the country. In this country up there, mm -hmm. it's up to be on 10 plus metres because you can the see team. the people. Yeah, yeah, you can see the team, but there's, there's but a the, lot of yeah, rubbish and, and okay, stuff on the ground. I can see. David's knees, right. I'm looking, and I'm knowing this guy's wanting to be found, he's not hiding. If I can see his knees, then there's a bloody good chance I can see every golf in between. Well, we're going to miss the stuff like lighters yeah. unless we oh, walk yeah. over the top if, of them. If, if there was well, a lot of... You're on the track. That, the track well, the track's well, looking for bits and pieces. Yeah. You weren't looking, remember, what, what were we looking right. for? We yeah. weren't looking for clues. We're, we're looking for a body. We're looking for a person that wants to be found. The brief will dictate to you what you're looking for. I think the thing is, we've all got in the mode of looking for Fred O'Prol. Yeah, well, sorry, well, yes, yes, I think yeah, you're the, wrong. The point was, it was hard to figure out what is salient and what's not. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. The equipment he had with him, so... Was this, this, and this? So that so could have been... Yeah. And so the equipment was going to lead you to the bloke? Well, because that's happened. You get it, yeah. they get destroyed, they lose yeah, the gear. Yeah, they, they discard it. This guy's dropped drop gear down. You've got to be confused. Decide. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you know what equipment is going, so if you do come across it, you find it, but basically... We were out doing a track to looking for something for bigger. Float. Yeah. Well, hmm. hopefully it's a big, heavy built float that's going to sit out. If we'd known the float, we said, you know, we're looking for a red jumper, a, a green jumper, whatever. We were looking for a person that we knew was probably going to be on the track. The track search officer was as, in case you got a bit confused, that's good, you know, not his head and rolled off the track. That's why you're covering the left and right of the track. But hmm. still, we're looking for a person. We're not looking for a, a, a Fredo frog. Knowing the gear they've got is handy in case you go to the campsite and you find a load of stuff there, okay? This is relevant to the ca to the, the missing person. This is not relevant. You know, he doesn't smoke cigarettes, so this is in his pack of cigarettes. You know, that sort of... That's why you give them the information about what's missing. So you can spread your people out. Mm. The advantage is it, it gives you more frontage and you knock it over a bit quicker. Mm. Control-wise, it becomes a problem. That's when your team members have got to switch on as good individuals and keep their left and right spacing and make sure that they're doing the right thing by you as the leader and they're keeping the spacing and that communication that Steve was talking about is occurring, that the, the, the message is up and down the line. I only look, it's getting really crappy here, but it's all right up here. So can you slow down? That sort of internal thing communication occurs yeah. and that makes or breaks the team. So I think you guys did well. From what I can see down here as the search control. Yeah, good control, good command, and send you up quite well and was smooth. Communication's not a problem. We're getting information back, which is the key point. You're the eyes and ears of the controller. The search controller doesn't know what's going on there. You know, like I said, it was 500 metres. It felt like 500 metres walking up here this morning. It's not, is it? No, it's not 500 metres. Yeah, lucky. Yeah, lucky to meet two. Okay. So, and the thing is, you've got to say to the search controller, the country is like this. Because all he's got is a map. He may not have any local knowledge to work off. So you're his eyes and ears out there. You've got to say, if the country's bigger than what you reckon, I've had to drop my frontage back or expand it. But they're the decisions as a team leader. You've got to pass that information back to the control. Control don't know it. They're just going to assume that you're having no worries and you're plodding along. Because okay. you have the eyes and ears for the control, unless you've got one of your liaison people in there who's got local knowledge and say, nah, mate, that's horrible, that's good. So, and local knowledge is a big difference. Mm. Imagine so. Okay. so that, that's just a couple of points I've got from it. You guys got any points yourself? Um, one thing we seem to have stopped a lot just for people to catch up and things. Um, I think we just have to be in the look left and right. And if these people over here are having trouble, then you just slow right down instead of stopping. You just keep walking. Because if you keep stopping and starting, it just takes forever. Yeah, it's tiring. Do you guys agree that's probably a good idea? Just to yeah. I'll, I'll oh. slow down a bit. And that just comes back to that communication. Just, it's all comms. All of it is 90% of our work, whether it's doing you know, searching or doing buddy roof. No, most of your recipe stuff is communication. Communication makes or breaks you. What it is too, I guess you're sweeping. What you're doing is sweeping yeah. visually. Mm. When you do a sweep, you sort of... Look to your left. Look to your left. Mm. Look to your right. Yeah, it's part of that. And as you're doing that, it's when you don't go all the way across to where the other person is. Yeah. You that start you get, to get out of line. line. Mm, I agree with that.
Have you guys got any points yourself? Or can you guys find fucking David any points you got from that little war? No. But Harry? it's improving on what we started with the weekend, you reckon? Yeah, I think you guys reckon overall. it's improvement over the, from what, where you started? Oh, yeah, no. He, oh, I think Jesus so, yeah. Jesus competed yesterday. Yeah, I think mean, yeah. you have a look at it, you, you, you're at it as potential leaders, and the leading's a completely different caliphate, you've just been a, a pump and mm. above member. But I think now that because you've done the lead this weekend, you're going to be better, not just potential leaders or leaders, you're going to be a lot better just general searches. You're mm. going to go to the other guys, look, this is what the boss is going to need, because you be able to think those couple of steps ahead. And mm. that's what it's all about, is thinking three or four stages ahead of what you're going to be doing, okay? I know the cancer is coming up. How am I going to attack it, okay? I know that in half an hour I've got a sit rep coming up, and I know I'm going to be roughly here. I'm just organising some pieces, and that's half the battle is being able to plan ahead. And if your team can do the job for you and do their job properly, it leaves you free to concentrate on the on planning ahead. So, thank you guys said, well, I think it's going to go a lot better than what you did on Saturday, looking for roles, so... Yeah. Have you guys got any more points you want to chuck in yourselves? I believe the plan now is that we'll probably have a debrief down there for the weekend debrief, maybe an overall view of the weekend, that's just like. So, um, yeah, if you want to head back, grab maybe a quick brew, and then head back into the... You want to Training room? Yeah, training room? That, and we'll have a, a weekend debrief. I'll just pass these papers out. Pretty much everyone has um, had successfully completed the requirements for land search team member. So, all you have to do...
all you people are ready to be set forth into the bush to lead the search team. So this is, it's, uh, it's going to become your problem now. <laughs> and I, I guess, has, there is anyone here at small group trainers that maybe having seen the package, which basically it's been delivered along the lines of the package, that you could start thinking about could you um, use the package in your units to train people in land search team member. Um, definitely it's worth thinking about and if you need help, give us a call. Now, this afternoon we've still got the option of doing some dangling off the tower down there. Steve's got some ropes set up. Um, I understand that some people may want to scarf it straight away after this. So, is anyone planning to stay around? Can we have a show of hands? <laughs> so we'll see what's there when they first finish. I'm happy with that sort of system. Alright, we'll That's think about it for the next five minutes. Um, now, other than thanking you for all coming along and for putting in a great effort all weekend, now comes the, the sting in the tail because Steve is going to be the bastard and make you clean up. <laughs> so I'll just get Steve to task me. It'll only take 15 minutes, he assures me. Right. <laughs> no, no, Matt assured you that. I've never put the phone in the oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, We've got just a few things that we need to uh, do. If we can have... Uh, three or four people go and do the accommodation block. Let's rip all the sheets off the uh, bed and drop them all on the camp stretcher near the uh, front door. Good. And then the vacuum cleaner is somewhere locked in the bathroom. Right. Oh. Must have the bathroom, I bet you. Uh, if we could have that just buzz around the thing, take those mats out, give them a shake, put them back down again, and all the cups and so on, if they could just be uh, washed out and left dangling on the sink so that it can dry out, that would be handy. That's pretty much uh, the accommodation, so we need some people to do that. The um, shower block, call it shower block, if we could have someone, um, okay, just go and, it just needs to be swept out and, um, you know, just have made sure it's neat and tidy that there's toilet rolls on the, um, toilet roll dispensers, that sort of stuff. Okay, if I actually use the shower before I go? You certainly can. I don't want to be in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with the dining area, yes. What if we task and deploy some people to take yeah. those tasks on? Would that be great? Yeah, yeah, sorry, who's yeah. going to do it? I'm happy to do it. Okay. I'll do that. Put it in the dummies. I'll give the guys a hand in the combination. Yeah. Okay, that, okay that's, that's four people. Time. That's enough. Yeah. Four, I'll take it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Right. yep, if you. Let this be a reminder to you all that this organization will not tolerate failure. Oops! I did it again, baby. Yeah! What led you through the hopelessly tangled underbrush of private security organizations to our door? Hmm? Stellar word of mouth? Our fine client roster? Those flyers we put up in that public urinal?